Hello and welcome to the best Pirates game ever to exist in the history of history and that is Sid Meier's Pirates. My name is Breezy B and today we're going to be playing through my favorite game on the planet. Actually I have a lot of favorite games, Minecraft being one of them, but um, but yes, this is this is a fantastic game. I'm going to try to 100% it. Oop, I don't want to load a game. I want to play it. So we're going to play. It began with a celebration. Indebted for years to the Marcus de la... Montalban. I'm going to destroy all these names just so that we're clear. A family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Yes. Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow. Because tomorrow is too pretentious for these people. Carrying both their hopes and their salvation. Look at all these people having a nice time. Eating some food. Whoops. But the celebration was befouled by an unwelcomed guest. Oh no, not an unwelcome guest. The Marcus himself arrived bearing ill tidings. Oh gosh. Not ill times. The fleet had been lost. Oh man. I I sense some sabotage going on, and the debt had come due. The family's property was seized. Oh no. And they were pressed into bondage. Aw. But one of them would not be a slave. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. He's like, no. <laughs> oh no. Little medallion that just kind of appeared on his chest. Oh boy. That doesn't look like a very nice guy. And so it was that the brave young Skyon, I don't know, Skyon, escaped his family's fate. I've never seen that used. Swearing to save them one day and avenge the Marcus's foul deed. Foul, I dare you. Foul. Ten years later, now grown to his full measure, about three feet tall, the young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. Boy, he just got in some sort of scrape, man. He had a massive scrape on his thigh. Or whatever. No, it's like his chest. Or his he needs a new shirt. If you're looking for passage to the Americas, you can sign up here. Thank you, mate. Okay, I don't know what boy band is doing there. What should we call him? He looks like a Frederick Vaughn pirate. E. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to say continue. Uh, we are definitely going to keep our skill in fencing because that's going to make... I'm, th the fighting in this game is probably one of the most difficult to do. And we're definitely going to start as an apprentice because I'm a baby. And if we have to go up, then I may not... Actually, can I do journeyman? <laughs> you make more money. Okay, you make more money. It's just difficult to decide. Okay, we're going to we're gonna start up one, one leg up. All right. You need to sign on as part of a crew. The captains of yonder tables will gladly take you aboard. Okay, so here's the thing. The Spanish are easily picked upon in this game. And in order to 100% this game, which is very difficult, you have to reach, like, full admiral whatever. You have to be the coolest and rank up in them. So I'm going to start with Spanish, even though it makes it the early game kind of difficult. I'm going to rank up there because they're super easy to bag on later... And then when we're trying to rank up with the other, um, you know, countries. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. This is my strategy to 100%, by the way. I don't know if it's going to work. The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. Look at that. He's like, <laughs> ow. Jeez. Fishes. Oh, there's that medallion that just, <laughs> oh, that face is loose. He's like, don't you touch me, boy. Ooh. Yikes. It's the last time. Oh gosh. Push beyond all decency. The crew mutinies. Oh my. I'd be mutinying against the face. I like that too. Boy. Coming up a kick and new. I'm trying to scrub the deck. Gosh. Unacceptable behavior. Whoa. Something happened. Oop. I have a cannon that's extremely difficult to use, but I don't know why I would fire it against my own ship. Oh my, 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 my. He's like, what? He's gonna do it. Ha ha ha. Look at that eyebrow. <laughs> Damn! Oh man, what a bummer. Hold on. He's not knocked out, he just kind of got dazed apparently. Oh yeah, put him in the little rowboat. Bye! See you! Free and under full sail, the ship and its crew at your command. You make your way into the Caribbean. A fortune to be had. I've only seen this a few times because usually as a kid, like I would skip through all this, it'd be super boring. A family to rescue, which I didn't, which made it really difficult to understand the story of what this is. A revenge to be served. There's the family. Your destiny awaits you. All right, I'm so ready to for my destiny to await me. Okay. Oh, we're headed right into right into Margarita. Is it? Visit the tavern. 
<sighs> I guess you 16 lots can come aboard. Okay, so this is the tavern. I'm sorry, I should probably be explaining this. So those guys, they're going to join me on my crew. I come into the tavern because I can get stuff or information from these people. These guys you get information from. This guy you can buy stuff from. And those guys, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Those guys we can recruit. Let's see if he's got anything back here. He's got information on his recent visit. Um. Okay, so I'm going to show you this, but like... He's going to show us information about the prices. If you could buy and sell probably in this game, but I've never done it because it sounds boring. Okay, we'll talk to the barmaid. Ooh, Jack Rackham, the ninth most, ninth most resort, can I read? In the Caribbean, it sails out of the out of the pirate haven, La Villa de, ooh, that's a word, near the city of Margarita. He's known to carry over 600 gold doubloons. Oh, he's like right there. Well, we can go kick his butt and maybe get a leg up and so, for some money. Have you been introduced to the governor of that daughter? They say she's a real beauty. Mm, we can consult the shipwright. This is where we can like get upgrades for our ship and repair stuff and sell ships as well. And then the trade with the merchant would be like if we fought a ship. Ooh, we only have four months of food. Might want to buy some food. Maybe we'll buy some food. We got eight months worth of food now. My dear Frederick von Parity. Oh, that's what we call ourselves. That's such a weird name. Sorry, bro. Please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the slimy French and the greedy Dutch. Now, when he says that, that means if we go after the French or if we go after the Dutch, that this guy's going to be happy. Which is good because we want to rank up to level, I don't know, 10 with these guys. I'm pleased to offer a letter of mark which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of your enemies. As this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the death city of uh, Caraco, which lies along uh, the, a long distance to the west. This is like the only Dutch city in this whole side of the world. In fact, the juicy Dutch ocean bark was seen. Mm, no, I'm not going to say these words right. Let's just be honest here. It's goodbye, Mr. Frederick von Piraty. Bye. See you later. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll sail away. I think we want to get that. Um, this guy. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. That made that easy. Hey, what are you popping a shot at me for? You don't even know me, bro. Uh, what we don't want to be attacking him from this side. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult because the wind only blows on one side in this game. Um, so we want to be attacking him from this side. This, this side. This guy had the audacity to pop shots at me. He's asking me to board him. See, like, when you start trying to go that way, like, the wind, like, stops you dead in your tracks. This, this game doesn't... It's always that way, too. It's not like, oh, the wind just was that way that time. No. It's just... It just oh. <gasps> And he popped a last minute shot. Okay, so we're going to do the quick attack. Okay, so we're going to do the one that's easy. And it's the poking. We're going to poke him with a stick. This is the only this is the only move that you need to know if you play this game. Then you know what I mean. This is it right here. This is it. This is all we need. Bam. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Whoa. <laughs> Idiot. He's like, but, but, the, but our pirate guy's like, bye. See ya. Oh, man. Is mad about it. One of the pirate crewmen is a skilled carpenter. Cool. Even if we get like to the point where we like lose our ship and everything, these guys come with you. I don't know why. They must fall into the, the ocean with you and join you. Who can haul repairs at the sea? He's quickly persuaded to join your crew. Your courage has impressed the enemy. An eager group of 25 soldiers have volunteered to join your crew of 48. Welcome aboard, lads. We're going to take everything. We got some guns, which we probably don't need, and a lot more food, which we definitely did need, considering we got a bunch more crewmates. We only got 800 gold, though, if I saw, right? That's pretty lame. That's a pretty... He, was a, he wasn't very rich. That pirate was not very rich. But our, our pirates, they're happy. Oh, I'm going to show real quick. So what we're trying to 100% is this screen, which is the personal status. We want to defeat all nine pirates. We want to find all nine treasures. We want to find uh, the lost relatives, which have 16 max map scraps. Um, the lost cities and romance. We, we need a 10 out of 10, which means we need a, like a beautiful drop dead chick to wed. So that is what we need to do here. Um, and then uh, wealth points just seems to work itself out. And then... Um, and then these are eight. I guess there's eight, not ten. But, like, we need, like, all the rankings. We just defeated a dread pirate. We got our first fame point. These don't really matter. We're gonna go back into Margarita because we want to talk to the governor and be like, yeah, we just defeated him. See if he'll give us a, uh, I don't know, promote us maybe is the word. I understand that recently defeated and the tourist bat uh, captured. Excellent. The king will be pleased. Yes, we got our first one, baby. What's good? We are now, um, we are now a captain, which is great. 
which uh, recruiting will be easier. Yeah, you can get like. Uh, okay, so we. I guess we're gonna dance. This this lady, she is a plain daughter. We want a, I think, a beautiful one, and but we'll accept her invitation, and I'll show you what dancing looks like in this game. So we want like we want the flourishy little thing, so we can get. So we can be, so we can like look fantastic when we're dancing. We're dancing. Oh, we want her heart to be like some serious heart palpitations is what we're going for. Because we want her to be like, wow, you're a great dancer. She's going to be like, I had a great time. I'll see you never. And you're like, bye. Ah, oh, shoot. That's what happens if I miss a step, by the way. <laughs> She's like, wow, you danced really nice. My Captain Frederick Von Pirate, you are such a charming rogue. I have information that may interest you. Uh for 3,000 gold, which is actually looking pretty good for us right now, because heck, man, it's hard to find some food here. Or, food, gold. A gold reward is offered to a certain Mr. G. Connery, who is wanted by the Crown for espionage. Oh my goodness. And I have the reason to believe he is hiding in the city of Rio de la... I wonder where that is. We'll have to look on our map. Um, We don't need to sell... Oh, actually, we have spices. We'll sell the spices. Give ourselves a little bit more stuff. Do we want to go in here? Does he have anything? Ooh! Okay. A mysterious traveler offers you part of a secret map showing the location of the pirate Jack Rockman's buried treasure for 300. I will take it. Uh, powder Reef. If we can find this, we might be able to find the treasure. But, you know, sometimes you don't need the whole map to find the treasure, but I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and swim away. Whoops. That's rum rock. I'm just curious. There was another rock here. Powder Reef. It's usually like around the spot. What's this one? Oh, buried treasure. Okay, let's bring this up. So I'm gonna guess the, the buried treasure just from playing this game a lot. I'm gonna guess this over here. We found it. Oh my goodness. We actually might be able to get this buried treasure, and that is gonna be probably a chunk of change. Yes. Yeah, we'll anchor here, boys. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> there's the buried treasure. I was gonna show you how buried treasure works, but we just like waltzed up and got it. Good job, us. Good job. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, look at us go. How much did we make? How much did we make? Our Oh, man, our crewmates are going to be so excited about us. A few hours of digging uncovers Jack... Oh, 2,000, I think it said. It flashed up. It was like... You're only going to see this a little bit of the time. Sweet. All right. Let's head into this poor Spanish port and pop into the tavern. A hearty band of 50 people want to join us. Yes, please. Ooh. Okay, the more treasures I get, like these rings, you actually end up giving to the girls uh, to woo them, which when we are seeking a mate for our good guy here, we're definitely going to need. So let's go ahead and take it. The bartender, the bartender, <laughs> he's a part-time bartender. He's a bartender. <laughs> the bartender motions you over. The economy here stinks. I'll bet if we got a new governor from a nearby settlement, things would really pick up. I guess we can go get this guy. I mean, it works. That's fine. Whatever. We haven't really acquired a lot of money. I guess we'll just go in here and see if, I don't know, a pirate to get or some treasure to go after. Something. Visit the tavern. We don't want more guys. We have way too many. Oh, man. I should say this leather vest is going to offer protection. I can't imagine how that's going to be, but I think that helps us in our 100%ing. I know the treasure fleet's there. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, let's deal away. We've done nothing that would give us a rank up, so we're good. Oh, we actually, um, we really could, look at this. Our ships need to be repaired. Oh, wow. Well. Oh my goodness, we have zero gold. Okay, we have to get, oh, monastery. Um, let's, 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 let's pop into the monastery. This is going to get us like, no. Oh, you have uh, information on my missing... Okay, cool. F news on my sister. Oh my gosh, that's so far away. We have got to attack a ship. We have no choice. Let's go after this Dutch thing. We have no choice. We have zero gold in the bank. Oh, wait, wait. This guy was going to give us 3,000, right? There's no way that this thing has a lot of stuff, but let's attack it anyway, because we're here. We're going to attack you. Uh... Please have at least, like, some gold on board. Would you, would you mind? We're gonna try to, yeah. Dodge and weave, mates. No, please. I didn't mean it. Okay, sweet. 
Look at me, I'm so good at this job. Good job, mates. 15 sailors. Alright, I'm a sucker. You guys can come aboard. Look like these guys are- we're carrying goods, so we'll head over to that De La Hacha thing or whatever. What is it? Rio. We're heading down to Rio, boys. Buckle in, buckle in. Oh, we have 300 gold. That was good. I didn't- I didn't catch that. I was looking at the- I was looking at the goods. I was looking at the goods. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to go up and around, right? Yeah, I gotta go up and around. Whoopsies. Definitely next time we're in port, we're gonna need to, uh... Sell this thing. Hopefully we can sell that thing. Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Coming through. Thank you. There it is. Rio de la... <laughs> That's how you pronounce that if you were curious. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> okay. Visit the tavern. We don't want you guys. It was too many of you guys. Let's see if these guys have anything. Oh! Offers you part of a secret map. Captain Kid's treasure. Oh, it's right. There's 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 a place we are at and it's like right there. Oh, we're gonna be able to get that We don't even need all of the parts of the map. We have what we need. Uh, I think it's this guy All right, G Connery This man is um, he's going down. That's what's happening. All right Teach you to To, to be meddling with some espionage Thankfully, with these fights, I don't have, like, my men dying slowly in the background. Which is always disconcerting. Bam! <laughs> nice hit, lady. Uh, okay, what does he want to offer me? Uh, 3,000, but perhaps to give to this one-shot pistol. No, you got a sand trial. I want that 3K. For sure. Uh, and I guess I can talk to the governor, because this was a Spanish thing, right? He might, he might, he might like that. Please come in. As you know, we're over the slimy French. Okay, I need to be going after French ships if I can. I, I understand that you recently captured a wanted criminal. Um, oh, alright then. Bye. Okay, let's trade with a merchant. And let's buy some goods. Or sell. Excuse me, we don't need to buy it. Ooh, six gold is not very good, but I need to uh, offload some of this stuff. Okay, so let's go into the merchant. We're, oh, we're gonna upgrade that. Yes, please. Uh, and we're gonna sell that. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, that's right. We were gonna we were gonna check to see if there's if we could find this treasure. So let's go ahead and just anger here. Perfect. Then we're gonna open this up. Okay, so there's that and this is that. So I'm gonna guess that our treasure is gonna be in this direction somewhere. Let's go get a treasure, shall we? And then there should be like a dead tree over here and a cabin. I don't see like anything here. Oh, there's that. That's a good sign. That means there's something around here. Oh, gosh. There's just not enough of it here. Oh, and then that. Uh, we need like a... There's a totem pole. There's the tree. Right? There's like a tree of some variety. Uh, there might be multiple dead trees, though, so it doesn't help as much as one would hope. I think it's definitely over here, though. I just need to keep looking. Just need oh, there it is! There it is! Woohoo! Huh, who needs all the map? It's for that's for wimps. Let's get us some treasure, shall we? Alright, drum roll. How much did we get? Eight thousand, baby. That's now that's a treasure. Yeah, return to ship. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good job, everybody. Um I guess we could go up to there. We probably should, yeah, let's go ahead and go Santa uh, Marta real fast and just see, like, if we can buy anything. Also, if we're going to take a trip that big, we really could use some food. Some more food. So let's go ahead and open this up. Spyglass. Uh, it improves your visibility. I'll take it, bro. I'm rich right now. Let's go ahead and... Okay, we got nine months of food. Nobody had anything helpful to say. So I guess we'll just go up and... Um, Take the trip. Our crew's gonna be happy because we just got all that stuff. Yep, we'll just do it. We'll send it. We got seven months worth of food here. We gotta go all the way up to... Oh, ha Havana probably? Is that where it is? Yeah. Okay. He's last seen like four months ago there. We'll at least head over there and we will see what there is to see. A wealthy Spanish capital. Great. Let's do it. Uh, tavern. That's where we're gonna get... Ooh, we're gonna have one of those. Fun. Uh, yes, absolutely. I will steal. I mean, I will take that. Uh, steed bonnets, huh? 
in the vicinity of uh, Havana, but we don't have any landmarks. Dude, That's going to be a little difficult to do. All right. Pardon. I'll teach you some manners. This guy is bugging this gal. I'm going to take care of it. He's like, why? Why? There's really no need to do this uh, fight, but it's just fun. He's called Annoying Captain. Imagine naming your kid Annoying Captain. Like, <laughs> now that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> Can you imagine getting poked in the side like that? Like, one of those and I'd be out. I'd be like, no, that's it. That's fine. I'll stop bothering her. <laughs> no, I swing them. Uh, you may be interested to know that, that Baron Raimano, the lightning quit. Okay. Oh. I guess he's still seen here, huh? Six months ago? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see if he still thinks he's there. No. He's over in Santiago. You guys need to, like, talk a little bit. Like, get together with the same information so that, you know, one of you doesn't look like a moron. Okay, fine green powder. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't think anything needs to be... We're not gonna upgrade the other ship. There's no need. We're gonna trade with the merchant. And yes, we are gonna buy some more food because, believe you me, that was necessary. Okay. We don't want to talk to the governor. Like, who cares? Um, oh, my gosh. Spanish raiders. They're raiding that poor place. I could go save them. Or or I won't. Or maybe I'll just keep walking and pretend I didn't see it. I didn't see that. I saw oh, sorry, Florida Keys or whatever you are. <gasps> Who's this guy? Ooh, ooh, Steve Bonnet. Steve Bonnet. Oh, remember, we gotta come from this angle. So we're gonna, like, cut him off. And then we're gonna, like, do one of these. We're gonna do one of these. Bam. Yes. This might be a better boat. It definitely can carry more crew. Let's do it. Look at this guy. He does not know what's coming. He's like... Oh! Oh, man. <laughs> Bye. Whoa, look at all that gold's in there. One of the pirate crewmen is a skilled surgeon and can heal wounded crewmen. He's quickly persuaded to join your crew. 36 soldiers want to come aboard. Absolutely. Let's see how many we got. We're going to take all. All right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We got Steve Bonnet. I... Let's change our flagship real quick. We're going to change it to that. So we have 113 crew. 113 might be enough. That Hear the noises of them singing. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but... They're very happy with me. They're like, I'm so glad that we went to Frederick Von Pirates crew. Because, like, he's awesome. Only, like, some of us died when he won. Are we making our way? Like, let's look to see what we're at 100% wise. We haven't done much here, but we have done some here. And we have two treasures under our belt. I think we're doing pretty good. And then when I when I go after Baron Roman, Romando, he's going to give me information on my sister, which is one of the, what, four or five relatives that I need to rescue. Is that him? That's him. Nope. That's the Spanish raider. Oh, but that's him. Ugh. We're going to hope we have enough crew mates. That's what we're going to do. We're coming in from the right direction. I don't know this. Oh, man. Please don't kill any of my crew. I need every stitch of crew members. Ooh, he's going to pop another one too. Ooh, cringe, cringe, cringe. Ah, good. We got to it. Quick attack. All right, we're going to see if we can do this. The evil Baron Romano emerges from a hiding below the decks. You have found me at last, Mr. Frederick on Piratee, but you will regret crossing swords with me. This guy is such a big baby. He's one of like the mini bosses. He's the only mini boss. I'm just hoping that we can kind of get done with him quickly before I have two little pirates to defend my honor. Look at how many went down just now. 20 pirates just like died. Uh oh. Don't don't get nervous. It's okay. Here we do. Here one more. One more hit. Oh yes. Oh, that was so nerve-wracking for some reason. <laughs> Alright, you are a master swordsman, sir. I will reveal you the truth that you seek. Your sister is held captive in a remote location. This map should help you in your quest to restore your family. Okay. That that was like the worst part of the map that we maybe could have found, actually. Uh, it's fine. 27 soldiers. Soldiers. Want to join us? Let's do it. What this guy have? Five spices. Okay. That's okay. Fine. 3,000 gold though. That's really good. We have 16,000 gold. We've done like <laughs> exceptional. We've done exceptional. Visit the tavern. We don't want more crewmates. Um, not interested in information about... In the, I don't want that. Uh, Captain Kids. The third most person in Cambrian sails from a pirate haven. Sydney's town near the city of Porti... Oh, yeah, we'll go up and get him next. I can sell this. 
and I think I'm going to I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna repair that so it'll go faster. And I'm gonna to go to the merchant and I'm going to sell off these five things. Okay, talk to the governor. Should I understand that you recently defeated a notorious pirate? The king will be pleased. Ooh, good, we got it! We got another one. Major. Nice. Ooh, and we got fifty acres too, because we became majors. Uh she's an attractive. Is it attractive? I think I need the word beautiful. I think it's, I think I actually need one up from this gal. I think I need, according to the game. Uh, I think we're good here. I don't think we need to be doing this anymore. Let's go ahead and go after this guy. He's right up there. My people at some point are going to want me to divide the plunder, but one doesn't divide the plunder unless they have to because it takes months out of your gameplay and it's just like, but at some point they'll be like mad at me. You know what? I think we're going to pop into Tortuga really quickly instead of going after Captain Kid. We, I mean, we're going to save Captain Kid for in just the next step. We're going to visit the tavern here and see if this guy has anything. I thought we already had this, but I don't think you can buy the same thing two times, so apparently we're buying that. And we'll talk to the governor, I guess, because we might be able to get some props here. I understand that you recently captured a Spanish war galleon and you defeated a Norris pirate. Ooh, so he liked both those things. Great. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, our, our peeps are kind of mad. Ooh, but they're not going to be very happy with me, but that's okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into the shipwright. I'm going to repair, and I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to leave. And then we're going to go find Bonnet. Ooh, they're, they're getting mad at me quickly. Let's try to find him. He's right there. There he is right there. See him? Guys, look, look. Before you get mad, look at him. Look right there. That's got your name all over it. Oh, he wants he wants to fight. He wants to do it out. All right, dude. And then we'll go divide the plunder. Y'all are a bunch of babies. It's fine, whatever. All right, look at that guy. We're gonna poke him with a stick. All right, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Bam, yeah, that's the ticket. Sometimes these guys like miss this thing that comes at them. Let's see if he does it. Nope, he's an idiot. Bye. I don't know. Did everyone just leave him there? I don't even know. Oh, you know what? I should have waited until after we divided the plunder because this... I lose so much gold when we divide the plunder. Oh, man. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, they're happy again, but they won't be happy long. Trust me. See if we can get more of that map. See if he's got it. You want a hat? Yeah, I'll take a hat. Sure. See if there's anything else here. Can I... Do I just divide the plunder and just call it good? I think I'm going to. Selling this. Yes, I'm sure. Selling that. Yes, I'm sure. And then I'm going to come over here and we are going to divide this plunder, baby. Great anticipation. The loot is divided among the crew. Each eagerly takes a small fortune of that much as a share and will be able to, and you'll be able to keep your flagship events as journeyman. Um, you get 10% share of the loot and it comes to that. Look at that. Isn't that measly? But we'll say, okay. We are going to continue though, because if we advance to adventure, we'll never, I just, I'm not that good at this game. Okay. We're going to head into the here and we're going to see. Oh, good. And additional parts of Steve Bonnet's treasure. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so we're looking for Devil's Stone. And we are going to need to move over there. We need to go back to Havana for that. Join me next time as I go after Bonnet's treasure over there at Havana. I'll start right here. So thank you so much for joining us on my playthrough of trying to 100% this game. We did pretty good this time around. We've killed three pirates. We've got two upgrades in Spain, one upgrade in France. And we found a couple treasures and we have one bit of piece of our quest here. So it's coming along really, really good. We have one out of 24 of the wealth points. We're going to try to 100% the game. I hope that you join me next time as I, as I go after this. Thank you so much for watching. And hey, if you have a favorite pirate game, maybe post it down in the comments below. I would love to hear what your favorite pirate game is. Have a lovely day. Bye.